Okay, so our topic for today is going to be disk management. All right. Okay, by the way, uh, any questions regarding anything else? The last thing we did was uh, doing the creating the user and um, what else here? Making it super user access and all that shit. Let me go to the website and see what was done. So we completed permissions. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, yeah. Okay. So let's get uh, started here. So the next, uh, this is a very important big topic here. It's called disk management. Okay, so when we talk about disk management, we are dealing with the hard drives. Okay. Deal with the hard drives. Okay, so I hope everybody know what a hard drive is, right? So let's take a picture. Hard drive. Okay, so this is a very good picture of a hard drive. <clears throat> so looks like... Um, okay, uh, yeah, so this is a hard drive. This is a hard drive, right? And this one is, it comes in a couple different shapes here. This one is for the desktop computer. And for the laptop computer is kind of smaller here. This kind of looks like a laptop computer. Okay. And it comes with all the different sizes and everything here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the, the old format of hard drive the way the people know how the hard drive looks like it. Okay, and inside the hard drive, you have like a spinning disk and all that. Here, we're not worried about that. The only thing we are worried about is the hard drive size. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. Copy image. Yeah, I kind of don't like this hard drive here. Let me try looking for something else. Okay, so.
Okay. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is, uh, so we are going to deal with the hard drives here. So in computer, we have one hard drive, right? But generally speaking, uh, a server, your home computer may have one hard drive, but uh, a high performance server, uh, like uh, the one you were dealing at work, they would have multiple hard drives, many hard drives, not just one or two or three. They will actually have a lot of hard drives in there. So, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna tell you what the hard drives are and how they are managed here, okay? So there are so many different types of hard drives. Uh, the one we're gonna deal with the hard drive is called SCSI. SCSI, okay? And this is a, a full form for small computer system interface. Okay, it's a, it's actually a standard and it is a, is a set of standards. Um, for physically connecting and transferring data between computers and peripherals. Devices. Okay, so don't worry about this. You don't have to remember all this here. But when it comes to Linux, I'll show you how this is being managed here, okay? So in Linux, this is a totally new topic here, but don't worry, I'll help you through all this here. So we have So in Linux, I told you we, may, we have many hard drives here, okay? We'll take a look here. So very first drive. Hard disk. <clears throat> let's say, let's call it a hard disk, okay? Because it is a hard disk actually. And the very first one is listed as dev slash sda. Second drive, second disk is listed as dev slash sdb. Okay. And then the third, third disk, can somebody guess what would the third disk will be listed as? is going to be always dev slash sdc okay so what will happen here is it will go through all this here all the way to 26 drive if you have 26 disk drives in your uh, uh, <clears throat> in your uh, server it's normal, okay? Don't be surprised when you go on to a job and you see 26 drives in there. It's normal, You, it, they do have it here. So so we come, we are on to the letter 26, right? What would be that listed as? Anybody? SDZ. SDZ, very good. What about the 27th one? I'm not gonna stop there. SDZ one? No, SDAA maybe. Yeah, very good. SDAA. SD, SDA, and start from A again. And it will go down to all the way A, A, Z. 
28 days will be slash dev slash sd a b okay so you got the idea how this is working here okay good so before i forget so i'm gonna show this on to a server uh, we are gonna work on everybody i added a bunch of hard drives to everybody's um <clears throat> Everybody's system, yeah. Everybody has two system there, right? So now let's take a look here at uh, the one I have here. Okay, so I'm gonna launch this. So the system I'm using is a virtual box here. So most of the time we're gonna be dealing with virtual machines here, but we don't have to worry about it. Don't worry about it, how it's working. So <clears throat> I'm going to take an example here and I'm going to go to storage and look at this here. Okay, where I have under SETA, I have how many drives I have here? I have eight drives here. What would be the first one would be? So can somebody tell me what would be the first drive would be? First drive will be SDA. Okay. I think you guys are not seeing this. The first drive will be SDA. The second disk drive will be SDB and C. So here in my example here, I have the, these many drives here, right? So what will happen is Okay, so <clears throat> what I have here is this disk is, uh, you know what, let me hold on. Okay, so this one is slash dev oh, for some reason it's uh, so thick here. G give me one second here guys. So this is slash dev slash SDA. Okay. Now this one is slash dev slash SDB. Okay. And this one is
slash dev slash sdc okay and this one would be slash dev slash sd um e okay so you got the idea how this is working here all right so how are we how are we going to see this in the operating system let's take a look here <clears throat> Everybody with me so far? Okay, now how are we gonna see all this in there in your own system? So log into your own system. Okay, and <clears throat> let me log into my own system here. Restart. <clears throat> Hello. Hello. Hi. Uh, uh, the fourth one is uh, it should be S uh, D or C. S D A B C D. Yeah, D. I had a brain freeze, so it's actually a D. <laughs> Good catch. Okay. In fact, I'll do is, um, let me just get rid of this part here. So this one is, uh, the first one is dev slash SDA. The second one is uh, dev slash SDB. Uh, dev slash SDC. And uh, this one is dev slash SDE. Okay. Does it make sense? Okay. All right, so I'm gonna capture this here. I need to request. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, is the hard disks are uh, virtual or the physical? 
if it's a server is physical and it's physical and if it's the server is virtual it's virtual right now we are dealing with a virtual a virtual hard drives see i have set up so the, this is not all these the all these things are not part of this uh, course here so i have set up like a server for everybody else here i don't have a physical server here right if I have a physical server, then it would be really expensive for me to hold this class. So I have a virtual server here, and in there, I added the <clears throat> I added eight drives in here for the purpose of this class. Okay, so this part of uh, the server and all those, this is done by the VMware team. It's called VMware, and it's a different team who does that for you. All you have to tell them is I need a hard drive attached in this server. You give the name of a server or the IP address, then it will be attached in here. So the moment is attached, how is it gonna show up here? How do you know which drive you're gonna be in? Okay, so everybody go ahead and log into their own uh, own servers. I have trouble uh, logging into my server. It says uh, no log, no log to post at all. Uh, say that again. Okay. Yeah, it says uh, it says no log to host. No log to host. Okay, let's take a look here. Let's see if your server is on. Okay, yours is off. Okay, anybody else is having problem? Let me know now. I need to turn this on. Okay. Yeah, you turn the Faisal also on. Okay. Faisal. Faisal, I'm turning it on. All right, so let me go ahead and go to the other servers. I need to install the virtual box. No, not no. You don't need to. I am giving you everything here. But if you know how to do it and you could do it on your own, yeah, why not? I'm going to turn Faisal on and uh, who else needed to be on the both servers is uh, Adil. And I'm going to turn the second server on for Imtiaz. Let me see my performance here. Okay, I have enough CPU. Muhammad. Selena. Okay, guys, anybody who cannot connect, let me know, please. Sarah Muhammad Ishtiach. If you're not going to say your server is down, I won't be able to turn it on. So looks like uh, the server is on for almost everybody here. I have Adil, Imtiaz, uh, Faisal, uh, Ishtiaq is on, Muhammad is on, Selena, let me turn it on. Okay, and uh, power off, Sarah, I'm gonna turn that on. Okay. If nobody's saying anything there, I assume you have access to the servers, yeah? We, we have quite a few people today, so one, two, three, four, five, six, 
We have 10 people today. Okay. So the command to look at your own uh, the list of hard drives in your system is LSBLK. LSBLK stands for list block. Okay. So obviously SDA, you have a lot of information here. Within SDA, you have SDA1 and SDA2. We'll worry about that because this is SDA is the very first drive. SDA is the very first drive and it's also called the operating system drive. So I'm going to put it here. SDA. better it's the SDA drive is a C drive you could compare it with C drive in Windows very good very good and uh, what about SDA 1 and 2 SDA 1 and 2 we're gonna we're gonna get into it it's those are the partitions very good observation those are the partitions then you're gonna create within it okay So this is uh, SDA one is for operating system. Okay, and other drives are usually a data drive. All they do is they are they're holding the drives in there, uh, the data in there, I'm sorry. So if you compare in the Windows environment here, let me show my on my screen. So if you look uh, look on my screen here, I have so many hard drives in here. Uh, let me see here. View details. Okay, so in here, don't worry about this here. Those are just the folders. I have C drive. This is a Windows operating drive. And then I have other drives in here, right? So. So in Windows, it takes the alphabets also. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all the way to Z. Okay. After that, I don't know if Windows could handle it or not. But I never really uh, worried about having that many drives in here. But in my system, yeah, I have C. I have D. E, e is reserved in Windows, I think. Then I have F, G, H. Okay, here, by the way, you see the drive letters are not in uh, not in the order. The reason being is I, I purposely chose the drive letter when I was mapping the drives, okay? So, but the C drive is always the same, no matter what, in Windows. Okay, so that's the Windows part. But in Linux, it's always SDA. Okay, so what happens if uh, if SDC fails? 
and you attach another hard drive on the bottom so SDE will become C okay so it goes up in the order all right let's see here so here you have SDA and it's a 16 gigabytes okay I have SDD how much is SDD what is the size of SDD anybody can tell me 16 very good 16 what about SD uh, SDG 24 24 yes very good so what we have is we have we have multiple uh, uh, disk with the multiple sizes in here okay so what will happen is what will happen is we'll use uh, the all the uh, different size of hard drives and then we'll make it one drive and then we'll, we'll use it it's called logical volume drive it's coming up but not today so let's see here so what will happen here is if you wanted to look at this closely here right can I ask a question yes sir so why does it jump to O there all the way in the bottom from GH and then SRO what is that yeah, th this is a CD-ROM drive. Okay, CD-ROM. Okay, and this one is SDA. Okay, and SDA is being used right now. All the other ones are sitting there and getting wasted, so we're gonna use it uh, in a minute. And this one is dev slash SDB. Dev SDC. Okay, dev. SD. Well, I have a problem with D, I think. <laughs> SDD and SD. E. Slash dev. Uh, SDF and in fact it, it is showing you the drive letters here so that that will give that information to you already okay Okay, uh, I'm missing one in here. Uh, let me do dev slash SDH, SDG. Okay. Does it make sense?
Okay. So now, I think I uh, did good enough explanation here. So now the fun part starts. Okay. So now, what I'm going to do is, we'll pick up one drive here and work on it. And then we'll see how we're going to use uh, this drives for using the LVM here. Okay. So uh, everybody is able to log into their own server, right? And everybody should have same amount of hard drive. Uh, S D A B C D E F G H. Can I get a confirmation that everybody is able to have uh, this come up on your screen? No, I don't. because I joined late, so I don't know. Yeah, go ahead and uh, go ahead and log into your own server. Everybody has two servers, right? Do you know the IP right. address for your server? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead and log into your own server. And just type lsblk. Do you want us to log into both of the servers that we have, or just one? Both. If you want to do, but right now just, we're going to be focused on one server, right? You can work on both servers simultaneously. If you could, you could. It's called scripting. I'll show you later on. So to list the disk, it's called LSBLK. I List the disk in operating system. <laughs> oh no. To the li to list the disk, the command is lsblk. List block. I don't know why it's called block, but it's called block. In old days, the hard drive looks like a block, right? Piece of a block. That's why it's called block, but it's that's not accurate information though. I'll, I'll tell you why it's block a little later on. So we have, when we do LSBLK, you will see the list in the alphabetical order here of the devices, blocks. So one is SDA, SDBC, all the way to H. At my work, um, I've seen all the way to uh, yeah, more than more than 26, 28. SDAB, I've seen those too. So, since uh, since the disk since the disk are listed in slash dev. Okay, here's the interesting thing. In Linux. Even the even the hardware is managed using the file. So if you go to cd slash dev, you're gonna see if you do ls, there's gonna be a lot of devices in there. Port is a, a file. You know, huge pages. There are a lot of other things in here. This beyond uh, beyond this class, but. If you look at it here, SDA, B, C, D, these are all your hard drives in there. You do ls hyphen L, SD asterisk. And these are all your hard drive listed in here, SDA. And there is a partition one and partition two. There are two rooms inside the hard drive, SDA. Then the other ones are sitting there and uh, they are just listed there because they are not showing up in their yard or these are not being used. If you don't see uh, partitions in there like this SDA1 or SDA2, that means they are just sitting there and getting wasted. So we're going to get <coughs> use of it. Uh, 
Okay, so now how are we gonna use this? We're gonna use uh, uh, we're gonna prepare the disk and format and do all those things here. Okay, so mainly there are three different kinds. Three common ways to manage the disk. Okay, one is called F disk. I nobody uh, I F disk F D I S K. So this functionality is inside Windows also. Okay. Or uh, F disk is uh, F disk uh, is a uh, F disk. Okay, let's take a look. What is F disk? I I'm forgotten about it. It's had to do with fish disk information or something. F disk is right. It's a unique like operating system command. Uh, partition table manage. F disk stands for fixed disk editor. Okay, fixed disk editor. This is called fixed disk editor. Okay, there is also called G disk, and this is same as same as F disk, but uses a GPT format. Okay, GTP format is more prevalent in the Windows environment. Okay, you could definitely use in Linux also. And then the third one is LVM. L LVM. And this one is the one we're gonna use. Logical Volume Manager. And I'm telling you guys, this is very, very important here. If you you will never be able to pass the interview without knowing LVM here, okay? So I'm gonna give you each and every single step, how to manage the disk and everything, you have to master it. It, it should be your second nature. LVM should be your second nature, okay? All right, so let's uh, go ahead and uh, start using LVM here. So what I'm gonna do now is logical. Okay, so let's see what LVM stands for. LVM. Okay, so I have a better definition here. <clears throat> LVM. It stands for um, Logical Volume Manager.
okay it's a system of managing logical volumes or file system that is much more advanced and flexible than the traditional so which one is traditional uh, f disk and g disk is traditional okay they have their own good uses but they don't have any use in the linux environment of partitioning a disk into one or more segments and formatting that partition with file system okay and we're gonna go through all file system and all those things are so we're gonna use either a file system we're gonna use ext4 or xfs file system okay don't i'm just telling you now but we're gonna i'm gonna go deep into uh what ext and xfs file system means okay so out of this here output everybody do lsblk what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these three hard drives here sd b c and d then we're gonna play around with these three hard drives we other hard drives are there but not at this moment We'll work with the drives uh, SDB, SDC, SDD. Okay, and also remember you don't have to use this in order. In fact, I'm going to use E. Okay, SDD and SDE. What am I doing here? All right, so the highlighted one, we will work with the these three drives here okay let's take a good 10 minute break let's make it a 15 minute break will everybody be back by 11 30 we, we're gonna uh, take a break and start again all right so break starts now Okay, can one of you confirm I could start? Very good. Okay. All right, so now the next command is, you could uh, clear the screen and type BLK ID. It stands for block ID. BLK ID. Hmm, why is it nothing coming up? Okay. So we'll worry about that later here. So now, 
So we have three disks we're gonna use to work with, right? So what I'm gonna do is, we're gonna tell the system that we're gonna use this three disk with the logical volume drive. So the command for that is PV create, C R E A T E. PV create stands for physical volume create and then we're gonna use NDR. I'm gonna say disk so we're gonna use SD B C and E okay so we I'm gonna say dev you have to give the full information dev SDB space dev sdc space dev sde slash dev slash sde okay everybody with me just give me one second oh you you have to switch to root everybody go ahead and become root Let me know when you're ready. I'm okay, I'm about to Okay. <clears throat> so everybody make sure you are logged in as root. Okay, the command is, you must have already said the command, right, earlier? sudo su hyphen. Okay, and it will give you the, either, well, you may or may not ask you to put in the password, okay? It's up to you how you had set it up. One time it did ask me, since I have already provided password not too long ago, so it didn't ask me the password again. <clears throat> so I am logged in as a root on my own system here, okay? I'm gonna clear the screen. I do ls blk again. And I'm using sdb, sdc, and sde. I'm skipping d. Okay, so the command is uh, the command is uh, PV PV create and it's gonna say dev slash SDB before that. Everybody type L B L K ID, block ID. 
so here all you're seeing is dev sda sda1 and sda2 on there okay and it's using the xfs file system lvm2 okay our uh, dev sd our dev sd b c and e are not showing there yet okay so what will happen is now we have to engage the operating system to start using those disks so to do that the command is pv create slash dev slash sd b dev slash sdc dev slash sd uh, in this case we're using e we are skipping d okay and you hit enter so what it says is physical volume sdb successfully created So PV create stands for PV create stands for uh, physical volume create. So PV physical volume create to be used with logical volume manager LVM. Okay, the next command I'm going to do is blkid. Now, okay, for me, it says, uh, I'm sorry to interrupt. Uh, it says that uh, they have SDC and SDE not found. Well, uh, do lsblk first. I did. I think I didn't write the command right. Let me see. Let me see the command that you typed. Maybe the spaces were not there or something. Yeah, the PV create. Make sure there are spaces in there. You know, give me five minutes. I, I got to uh, give me five minutes. I'll be back in five minutes. Okay, sure. Okay, I'm back here. Sorry for that. All right, let's continue. Are you okay, um, Adil? Yeah, I'm good. Thanks. Okay, all right. So, everybody, please stop me if you are having issues, okay? Because if you're not caught up with me, then it's going to be difficult here. Okay, so, but anyway, I'm going to give you each and every uh, information here. Okay, so earlier, when we did BLKID, okay, nothing was showing up in here, right? So this one should go. This one should go up here. Okay, I'll we'll talk about the UUID later on. Okay, so then we ran the physical volume create. We ran this command, and then after that we did the BLK ID. So we did the BLK ID, right? So it gave us the information, all the information about all the drives including the one we just created here. So now you see here, earlier there was no output, now we have an output, and the computer is gonna, we, t we said the system, we're gonna be using this as a part of LVM. And how did the computer know that? Because we used the command pvcreate. pvcreate is a part of a LVM process. And which drive is that? SDC, SDB, and SDE. It matches the one uh, we set the system to make it PV create. Okay, everybody agree with me so far? Okay, good.
All right, so now the next command is PVS. Okay, here you in this command you see uh, some good information also. You see the PVS command, it will give you. Yeah, go ahead. You don't have a question? PVS command is uh, consistent with our information here. It says 4 gigabyte, 8 gigabyte, and 8 gigabyte. Okay, if you go back, if you go back up to your LSBLK drive, we are using 4 gigabyte, 8 gigabyte, 8 gigabyte. And it is also showing the information about SDA, SDA2. Uh, yeah, that one is showing 15 gigabyte, but in reality it's using 16 GB, I think, yeah. It's using 16 GB, so it's giving this information to you. Okay, this information is missing why it's a boot partition, and we will deal with that a little later. Okay, now, So what we did so far is, let me go back a step here. So what we are using three hard drives here, right? So what I'm gonna do is, Okay, here, in fact, let me make a table here. We will work with the, the disk. So that you have some visual here, I'm just putting it together like this here. I think this will help you a lot. Okay, and this is slash dev, um, dev, dev slash sdb dev slash sdc dev slash sde okay and how much is this how much is the size is eight gigabytes four eight and eight okay so this is four gb this is eight gb And this is 8 GB. So what we did was we told these three drives is going to be part of LVM2. LVM2 is just a version here, okay? Just remember it's LVM. Yeah, I don't I I don't worry about version one or two anymore because it's all version two, whatever uh, your operating system you're using. Anybody has any questions? I'm gonna give a two minute pause and then I will continue. Okay, no questions, so let's continue. All right. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna we prepared this for logical volume right now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use all three drives and make it a single drive Okay, this will come a little later. Okay, so well, how am I gonna do that? There is a new command called, okay, you're learning the new command, VG create. VG create stands for volume group. Okay, and then this time I'm gonna give the name uh, ZMPT or oh, let's do it data uh, no let's do uh, do it in capital letters ZMPT okay zero one and then we are calling the new group ZMPT zero one and this is dev SDB dev sdc and dev sdd sde okay So what is going to happen is uh, this is the command and this is the group name. Okay, disks being added to the group. Okay, this is the command and the command stands for volume group create. Okay.
Any questions? I'm still getting there. We are not there yet. Okay, and I'll hit enter. And you should get volume group created successfully. Okay. Good. Now. Is this picture good enough or should I still uh, explain this? Okay. Go in a garage and there is a clear box and it's a have Come here, come back here. See that black box? Lay it down and then. No, lay it down on the floor. Take the screw. You need a star one or whatever. One. You know, actually, let me just explain this uh, here also. So, this is a command volume group disk 1 disk 2 disk 3 okay and this is EMPT 1 Zero one dev dev slash sd b dev slash sd c dev slash sd e Okay, so it's the same information here. The VG, VG create stands for volume group create. This is very important guys. I am doing this every day. Day in and day out. In fact, I just did it like 12 hours ago. When I was logged into my job. I need to create some volume groups and all that. Every day, every day. This should be your second nature. How all this thing is coming together. This should be second nature. So, just follow exactly what I'm telling you and follow everything in the document here. And you will be really uh, successful in this year. I'll give you, I'll give you the, uh, this is the expanded version. I'm, give, I'm gonna give you the small version so that you know what you're doing here. You could do it like, just start typing it and then it will work together for you, okay? So the next command is VGS. Okay, so we put this together. We put all three disks together and make it a single logical disk, right? So then here, what is the size here? The size what is the size here 4 GB
8 GB 8 GB 8 GB so can somebody do a math and tell me how many GBs we should expect when we put everything together how many gigabytes 20 yeah 20 so how do we verify that it's 20 gigabytes the command is VGS volume group show and there you go you see ZMPT and it has three drives in there and it's showing you uh, is showing you zero uh, logical volumes because we don't have anything and uh, I don't know what this means SN I never really pay attention attributes but look at this size here La size is it says little uh, less than here uh, it's not why is it not showing you 20 GB because it never shows you 20 GB okay or like your iPhone if you have your iPhone uh, they sell you as uh, 64 GB, but the space is not exactly 64 GB available because there is some information on the drive itself being used by operating system. Okay, that is a metadata. We're not going to go into that detail, but it will show you the approximate. So you, when you see this here, you could just say, oh, this is 20 GB hard drive. So what I'm going to do is VGS, uh, I'm going to say ZMPT01. Okay, VGS command is also a good command to see all the list of volume groups. I'm going to say ZMPT01 and it will filter out only the uh, volume group information here. So, So let's break this down here and I will explain you what it is. Okay. Um, give me one second here. Let me, I need to text one guy. One student he wanted to know more about LVM, so let me tell him. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> So now, this part here, is our volume group. Okay, and this part, this part is PV. So it says three. What does it? What, can somebody take a wild guess? Through what does three means? Three drives. Yeah, exactly. Very good. Three drives we have previously used. Okay. We have used uh, these three drives here, right? Right up here. We use these three drives. One, two, three. Those are three drives, three physical drives attached. Uh, three disc. Okay, and here Uh, we have zero partitions this this is actually a partition information okay right now we don't have any partitions in there 
So what we have is we have like a flat, imagine, imagine ZMPT-01 as a big old warehouse. All it does has is just an open slab. Nothing else is built on it. Okay? And uh, it's using the tree disk. And then there is no rooms built in the open slab. Okay, so logical volumes. And this is the size here. Later on, the size and then the size free size. Okay, this is the size. So this is 4 plus 8 plus 8. And how much space is available is here. So it's available, almost everything is available because we haven't created any logical drives. If we create logical drives based on that size, it will detect that. It will detect that information. Okay, all right, so hopefully, please stop me if you are confused or if you got any questions, because this is the time. Who joined? Is somebody joined now? Hey, Mrs. Zafar Austin. All right. Okay, Austin. Yeah. I thought you should join us here because you had a question yesterday. So, all right. It's good. Okay, so now when we did VG create, it uh, successfully created the volume group, and this is the result. Okay, now the next step is. Uh, Now, now the next step is this is this is where we are now. So far, we took the hard drives, we put it together, and at this stage we are here. So I'm going to copy this down here. So we have three drives here. Now we use ZMPT uh, VG create command. And what's happened, we did VG create and we made it to ZMPT 01 and it's now 20 GB.
okay so now what we're gonna do is you have to forget about these now these are underneath all this is physical hard drive they are sitting underneath the volume group which is 20 GB now we have a whopping 20 GB drive instead of we have to worry about oh I have only 4 GB so I cannot use a I have a requirement for 5 GB right what are you gonna do so you have to go for 8 GB but what are you doing is if you put this together here what will happen is it will become a one big single drive and then you don't have to worry about it because the system will automatically start using if it's 5 GB it will uh, it will use this part and then start using this part partially it will do it automatically randomly so we don't have to worry about that okay so so far it's clear in your mind right what is happening good so now so let me put the, some color in here and uh, okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to start making partitions inside ZMPT1 I'm going to give a two minute pause here anybody have a question Okay, no questions means uh, we'll continue. Okay. So now, what we're gonna do is we have a, we have a requirement here. We have a requirement that we need to create. We have like four departments in the company they want they want some space to start saving their data okay so they will approach you or you will normally get a ticket that says build this uh, this many drives for for them so you will go ahead and do it here so there is a requirement from accounting okay they want uh, this space they want a disk space about 3 GB. Okay, and finance. They want a disk space about 5 GB. Okay, and then if we have HR, they need a, a space. They need to add, uh, uh, they need a space to save their data, okay? How much they need? Uh, they need like uh, about uh, 7 GB. I'm giving odd numbers so that you know how this is being spread out. And it will help you here. Okay, and now, then we have another requirement for recruiting. Okay, and they have a requirement for, uh, say about uh, 10 GB. Okay, so you got the first request, they need 3 GB. Okay, so very first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna you're gonna log into the system and you and then you will say oh somebody needs a free uh, 10 GB so what you're gonna do is you run the command VGS and hit enter and you could take a look here okay ZMPT is here it has three uh, physical volume and it's just sitting there and getting wasted and it has 20 GB okay 20 GB is available 
is that going to fulfill my requirement to for recruiting uh, accounting the answer is yes okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create it so this is a new command you guys are going to learn lv create logical volume create hyphen n means new and then you have to give the logical volume here so think of this as a ZMPT as a open blank space. Okay, it's just sitting there and nothing being used. It's like an open warehouse. Now inside this warehouse, we're gonna make sections here. So the very first section is gonna be accounting. Okay, so let me see here. So I'm gonna make first section here, accounting. And how much is the size is required? 3 GB. All right. So, so the new command you're gonna learn is LV create, logical volume create, hyphen N. Give the name accounting. It is not recommended to use uppercase here, so use lowercase. Logical volume hyphen n accounting. Okay, hyphen l, uppercase l, that means you're creating a logical drive. And what is the size? You want the size requirement is 3G. Size is 3G. Okay, and where are you gonna get where you get where are you cutting this out of? You're you're carving this out of ZMPT one. Okay. So this is a command logical volume create. And hyphen N means new, nothing else, it's, it just says new. and we are giving the name of the we are giving the name of the logical volume okay hyphen l means logical is telling the system to make a logical disk. And hyphen G is size, what size should be. size in GB and this part is um, this part is volume group
all right i'm going to hit enter it says logical logical volume created okay now let's run our vgs command again vgs and it says here it's giving uh, the volume group three are uh, three hard drives in there now we know there is one uh, volume in there and the size is 20 GB and out of that size only 17 GB is available why is 17 GB available because it makes sense here we used up 3 GB here okay all right so let's see here how we're gonna see the we did VGS right so what you're gonna do is let's run the command LVS we run the command VGS Now we're gonna do LVS. There is another new command you're gonna learn right now. LVS. Okay, LVS stands for logical volume show. Now we have some good information here. Are you getting this? Now LVS is showing, okay, this is, uh, this is the uh, LV is here, and we, this is volume group. The output is ridiculous. Okay, oh uh, yeah, I mean, hold on. And these are attributes and this is the size and most of the time I'm only worried about this information and the one which is highlighted okay I'm gonna pause here everybody with me so far Any questions? Yes, sir. I have a question for you right quick. Go so ahead. let's say you just want to uh, get all the attributes of just accounting by itself. How, how do we do that? Just type accounting in there. Yeah, because I did that and it didn't, it didn't, uh, it didn't come up. It just uh, comes in off time. You have to grab it. Pipe, grab. There you go. But it's not okay. showing you enough information there, sir. So, so let's do LV. LV display. You know, don't don't worry about this command here. Just do VGS. Just do uh, no. I'm sorry, LVS. 
question, yeah. Uh, actually, why we are uh, uh, creating the disk drive? Is it mandatory to do in the work? Uh... Yes. What do you mean, why? You tell me why. Because yes. here, the reason you're creating is uh, you have an accounting department. They, they need to put some data on it, right? Yes, so you're, making, uh, you're giving them some space to save their data. HR, finance, they're going to come and ask you some data here. And uh, instead of recruiting, let's put this as database. Database people, they want uh, 10 GB. I will figure out how we can accommodate a database because it may we may not have uh, space on the drive itself. Okay, I'll show you how to extend that. Okay, so far, so we have accounting here. HR and finance, right? So, so far, this is where we arrived here. Whatever we did so far, this is our visual. Okay? I'm walking you through each and every simple, simple step here uh, so that you don't, uh, you, you should uh, understand what is happening here. So far, we started off with three blank drives. They are all different sizes. And then we created a one giant size, 20 GB. Out of that giant size, we are cutting into those pieces here. The reason we are doing is these are expandable and reduce easily. Okay. I'll, I'll show you how that can be done. Okay, so when you do LVS, logical volume show, this is what is going to show, show it to you. LVS is, uh, this is the command. I'm going to put it here. LVS equals logical volume show. It will show you the logical volume here. PVS, I think I already show you uh, what VGS is. VGS um, volume group show. VG create, volume group create. PVS, physical volume, and all that here, right? Okay, good. Okay, so now the reason is why we're doing this, because we have a requirement. So we we just gave this accounting 3 GB, but it's still not usable, okay? So what you have to do is, What you have to do is you have to now you have to create a folder for accounting people to use it. MKDIR. What is the folder name? Slash accounting. Just type account. I'm creating a folder name accounts. Before that, go ahead and type the command lsblk and hit enter. Now do you see sdb, it has the volume drive, volume group, sorry. And then the logical volume is accounting and this is 3 GB. Thank you. Can you go on mute, please?
Okay. This is our dev SDB. This is our VG. And this is our uh, logical volume. And this is the size. And in fact, it will tell you here is a, what kind of disk is this? This is a logical volume. And this is the size. Everybody with me? Good. Okay, FZMPT, it makes sense, right? It says SDB and it's a part of a ZMPT and accounting, right? Right here, SDB is showing here and then ZMPT and under ZMPT, this is accounting. Now, we're gonna make it usable. So make a, make the logical volume usable. So what you do is, we did MKDIR. This is going to be a little confusing. MKDIR slash. Oh, by the way, the next command is DF hyphen H. When you type DF and hyphen H, okay, let's see what DF hyphen H stands for. DF. Uh, DF reports the file system disk space usage. mkdir slash accounts putting the forward slash is important okay so the hard drive uh, physical drive is created I'm sorry the the folder that need to be used with the accounts is created here oh I goofed up here before that I should have created the partition now. I should have created the partition. I'm sorry, not the partition, the file system. Remember earlier I said we're gonna use the two types of file system. Is it MKFS or XFS file system? Yeah, MKFS and EXT4 or EXT5. EXT uh, 4 is not being used as much, but 
some employers they still use it but XFS is the dominating one right now okay so so we made a we made the partition inside the ZMPT one right now we need to format that partition into a file system so what we're doing is we are we are putting the flooring on here okay so how do we do the flooring we have two types of flooring either the carpet or the hardwood so let's work with ext4 first mkfs dot ext4 before that I'm going to say blkid uh, not blkid lsblk okay I will have this information in front of me and I'm going to say mkfs MKFS stands for make file system dot ext4 okay and then where do you want to make it you want to do it slash dev slash um, here you don't have to give sdb and all that you have to do zmpt1 zmpt1 slash accounting okay it ran so fast but I'm going to explain you what it is This command is make mkfs make file system ext4 and this is the destination which which file system you want to make ext4 so this is a logical volume lv to b uh, lv to b file system for file system And don't worry about that output here it will do whatever it's supposed to do okay this part here it will automatically do it for you. you don't have to stress too much about it this part will be done by the system
Okay, make logical volume usable. So you did MKDIR. Uh, let's see here. So make, let's do XFS file system. So you have to worry about this command here only. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry about what else you see in here. In fact, let me just delete this. It's just too much technical information. We, we are, I, I don't use it all the time. I'll just run this command blankly, blindly, and then it will take care of it. But you have to remember, where, where is this ZMPT? You have to give the full path dev zmpt01 accounting so if you go in uh what is the other way to look at it is now this part is being recognized as a file here right So MKFS is this drive here. So this is about 4 GB, I mean 3 GB. So now the next thing is, we're gonna have to mount it. Mount the logical volume to be used now. Used by accounting folder. Okay, so the command is, if you type DFF and H, I'll explain you what DFF and H in a minute here. The command is mount, okay, and you have to give the full path. Okay, how do you find out the full path? You type BLK ID. Okay, now you see the full path here. Dev, mapper, uh, accounting one. Give me one second here if I could do this. You mount slash dev you do mount slash dev and then the, the, the folder we created accounts okay and hit enter so what will happen is uh, you run this command blk id and get the information. The, the one which is highlighted is the only information you need. Get the information for LVM. LVM uh, directory path. Uh, hi, I have uh, one question. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, why do we uh, write dev slash map on? Yeah, that, that's how you put it together. Because uh, there is nothing you could do about it. Dev mapper. Dev mapper means it's putting this uh, in here into this folder here. So remember, dev is a folder, mapper is a folder, and it goes into this folder here. In fact, you could go in this folder and then take a look.
you see here these are the ones created by these are the ones created by system here and we created we manually created this one here dev mapper zmpt01 accounting so to get that information it's sometimes hard to get it just type blk id okay yes sir the more we do it the better it gets here at this moment just blindly follow what i'm showing and i will discuss it again a little later now what i'm going to do is we got to mount it mount it to the folder okay so the command is mount um, before you continue when i when i try to map my it says uh can find dev mapper zmpt01 accounting in ntss that you just type mount hyphen a why did you do that i'm sorry what command did you type I typed uh, mount uh, space slash dev slash mapper slash ZMPT01 dash accounting. Okay. Which is what I copied from uh, block ID. Okay. Then it's telling me can't did, find. Did you? I can't find it. Same for me too. Yeah, instead of that, do this here mount and then slash dev then put a tab then type mapper and put a tab and did you did you copy zmpt01 yes sir oh you know what you you are missing this here you are missing this command mkfs type this command here mkfs dot ext4 and if you're not sure where are you, you just type it partially, slash dev and a tab, then type zm tab, and then type a, then tab. Do this first. Okay, which yeah, I did that earlier too when I created the, yeah, so it ran fast. Yeah, it will run fast. Yeah, I did, I did that already earlier. Okay, and then go ahead and create MKDIR accounts. Yeah, which I did that already too. Okay. Do part probe. P A R T P R O B E and hit enter. Okay. Now now do this command. Now do mount dev mapper. I mean if you if you may have made any error mistake here, make sure you typing as is. and hit enter. If you didn't get any error message, that means it worked. Yeah, it says you can't find it. All right, let's uh, connect to your, give me your team viewer. Okay, the, the ID is 469 209 539. Mm -hmm. Hang on a second. 
uh, the password? 7VU4J3C1. Okay. Oh, you got to give a space there, buddy. Why are you not giving space off after accounting? Bring the line back up. Clear the screen. Clear. Type clear. Okay, bring the line back up. There you go. Go back and right before accounts, give a space there. No, right, no, right there. No, 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 no. Go back. Okay. Yeah, okay. now hit enter. Mount point doesn't exist because you didn't create the mount point. So do MKDIR accounts. Space forward slash. No, 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 no. You got, you got to give a forward slash too. Okay, see, you missed the MKDIR part. There you go. Enter. It did oh, it. Okay. All right, uh, Adil, are you having the same error or you want me to connect to your screen? I do have the same error, but I don't have team viewer on my laptop here. Um, Why don't you take a picture and put it in group chat? I will take a look. Or maybe just give me one minute, let me move to the other, my desktop, and then we can use the team viewer there. Okay. Okay, so... So here, mount is a command. Okay, dev mapper is the LV information. Okay, the logical volume. Um, logical volume, a disk folder. And this part is called mount point. Okay, remember guys, this is called mount point accounts. Okay, I'm ready for the team viewer. Yeah. Give me one second here. Sure.
So now that I moved to a different machine, you're not going to see whatever I was doing on my laptop, right? Are you doing it locally or on the uh, system I provided? Through your uh, your uh, system that you provided. Yeah, I could still see it. Oh, okay. Mount to the folder, so make a folder here. All right, so let's see uh, your team viewer. ID is 469-184-188. Uh, okay. And password is uh, JQZ416. Okay. Oh, see. Okay, clear the screen. Uh, let's do LSBLK. All right, looks good. And uh, do LS hyphen LD. Oh, uh, no, LS hyphen LD space. forward slash accounts. You created the folder accounts, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, it's there. And do uh, type history there. Okay, so you're missing uh, MKFS. That's what I meant when I said, like, when I was running all those commands on my laptop, when I was logged into this server, and now that I'm on my desktop, it doesn't show all those commands in the history. Yeah, okay, I, I hear you, because you're logged in a, a, another place. You type, type who? See, you logged in twice. So the history is for that other session. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to mount it. Uh, mount. Do then you. So good idea is do BLK ID first. Delete this. Okay, so copy that part. Yeah, space dev mapper. Go ahead and copy it. Oh, if you want to, yeah. Yeah. Oh, copy it from there. Okay, sure. Either do that or that do M and then tab and then. Get in a practice of using tab, not that one, the last one. Uh, this one? No, no, all the way in the bottom, last one, tab mapper. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. Just right click there. Space forward slash accounts. There you go. So it's good? Yeah. Now to see, uh, I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to disconnect. Okay. Okay, guys. So now we did mounted it. How do we see uh, if it's mounted? Type df hyphen h and hit enter. There you go. Now you see. Now you see dev mapper and all this is mounted to here. So So
so this part is this is uh, LV LV uh, directory information in all if you just look at it is nothing but a directory right and this is a mount point Yeah, uh, it's nothing but a directory here. Now, what will happen is users will come in and put all their data into accounts and it will write to the disk. It will write to the accounting disk. Okay, I think it's way too much for today. Don't worry about it. This is just an explanation. Tomorrow, I will give you, I will cut everything out. I will, I will cut everything out and then I'll give you the exact information that you need to do. You need to worry about nothing else. Because don't worry about all this here is gonna be a lot of, lot of information. Or it looks a little daunting here, doesn't it? Okay, but once we do start to do, uh, you know, the simplified version here, then you will you will get to know everything. I'll make sure you guys know how to do this LVM inside out. You type df hyphen h is the command. Okay, so we learned a lot of lot of stuff here. There are some, once you know this, LVM is probably the most uh, important thing in Linux environment, and that is what you're gonna get paid for. You need to understand LVM inside out, okay? Don't say, don't save it to yourself. Speak up if you have any issues. If you don't understand anything, I'm willing to help. I, Austin, he just joined. All year he was having, he was uh, my student last batch. And he, even now I still help him. I, I spent one hour on him yesterday and I am told him to join today. So you could see the length I'm willing to go to help you guys out, okay? So don't. If you have any question, please speak up. And I'm there all the time here. Just text me. I want everybody to use the group chat to put in the questions. And after that, if nobody helps, I will gonna help you. But as of today, just get away from computer, go about your work, come back tomorrow, and we'll have a lecture tomorrow. And tomorrow at the end of the class, I'm gonna make it everything simplified version and you have a whole week to work on this. The more you do it, the better it gets. Okay, if anybody has questions, ask or put in the chat. If no questions, so we're gonna end for today.